Hi everyone, Celt News here. With regard to the photographs taken of Megan that she is now suing, she is now saying that she's fighting to protect her son. And this contributed to her leaving the royal family. It's now been discovered that she must have called the paparazzi herself because the paper, because the pictures were taken by Splash magazine and it's now common knowledge that Megan contacted them and knew they were there. She's trying to say that they were hiding in the bushes and yet she's looking directly along a pathway where there are obviously no bushes, straight at the camera. She's giving the camera eye contact and it's absolutely ridiculous that she thinks that she can get away with this. Many things wrong with the photos. Too many to mention. Really, the security taking their hats off, um, the way the ground looks, the grass, the greenery, when there's been such cold weather in Vancouver. It doesn't really matter to me where the photos were taken. What does matter I mean, she can play games forevermore, but the important thing is now is that she's dragging in the royal family and basically playing games with them and almost challenging the Queen. So by saying now that she wants to protect Archie from the royal family, this is the thin end of the wedge. And there are suggestions online that she will be bringing up accusations of all sorts of things. And I think she's playing with fire. They bent over backwards to make her feel welcome. The royal family did everything. They seem to be soft on all of this recent stuff, but obviously they're not. But they've had to be seen to be doing everything they can to help them. And she still is trying to imply that she's protecting Archie from them. So she's now being called out for upstaging Catherine as well. The Daily Mail have called her out on this. She reveals her visit to the dog centre, which was two weeks ago. She brings it out predictably on the day that Catherine has an engagement. And New York Times say lawyers for Harry and Meghan warn British media over the photos. And many are saying that she really does believe that she's Princess Diana. So she sets up the pap walk, and Splash sells the pi- the pictures to the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail publishes those pictures, and then she sends them a warning. The letter, it says here, the letter also expressed concerns for the safety of the pair because of the way the paparazzi were driving. This is absolutely ridiculous. How could they be driving if it was a gated footpath and she's walking along it no cars to be seen no tire tracks to show that cars would be even going through there and she's saying it's the way that they were driving incredible and the angle of the camera and the position of the camera however far away it was is not taken from a car And why are her security guys walking in such a chilled manner if she was feeling threatened by reckless driving from paparazzi? It just doesn't make any sense. So she's alluding now to the, she's alluding now to the way that Diana died because of the, the way that the paparazzi were driving. And we all know that Diana died because she refused her own security and she was driven by a drunk driver. She also had no seatbelt. And there are other theories out there, but that's the mainly accepted one. And it's very apparent now that Megan will not let this go. She is almost wanting to reenact Princess Diana's life. And even the way that Harry is bringing up his mother in this way and the fear thing about his wife, why would she keep on playing on this? If she really cares for Harry, why would she keep on bringing this up and putting the fear into him? And so many of us can see that it's game playing, that she's really playing a dangerous game here. And it seems that Harry hasn't even 
noticed this yet. And then there's another article here, which is the New Zealand Herald. Prince Harry's blunt warning to royal family. I don't think he's in any position to give a warning to the royal family. And as a final note, the papers do seem to be hitting back. The Mail on Sunday, and really, can you blame them because they're the ones being sued, have a style guide where they ask, what's the difference between brilliant, graceful, elegant, selfless Kate and brash, gauche, misguided, selfish Megan? The answer, one of them is suing the Mail on Sunday, the other one isn't. Well, I don't think I ever would have thought I would have seen that headline, but there we have it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.